Hello, everybody. Once again, it's your favorite storyteller, Matt D. Talford. And uh, this today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, of course, you know, I'm an award winning author, uh, multiple award winning author. You can see the thumbnails on the screen and uh, you'll see some thumbnails and some links in the description. Some thumbnails at the end of the video and some links in the description box below if you want to check out what I've written. Now, as you guys know, I, well, first off, again, this is a very different video. Uh, you don't see my face on here, but so what? I mean, you can, you want to see my face, go look at my Instagram channel or, uh, or look at any of my other videos that I'm talking on. But today's important. I'm in the kitchen and I've, uh, I've got some items here on the counter and they're not organized in any particular way, but I want you to pay close attention because if you guys have been following me, uh, the last couple of videos I've done have been all about how to protect your body, protect yourself in this crazy world we're in that we found ourselves in in the last couple of years. But anyway, let me get on to it. So my last one I was talking about, uh, and I got a little bit of flack from maybe one or two people about the whole thing about, you know, eating meat and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to rehash that. If you eat meat and you want to keep eating meat, just be wary of, you know, the source of the meat and how it was handled. And if you're not into eating meat and you don't want to eat meat, don't eat meat. Just, hey, if you're a meat eater, don't beat up a vegan. And if you're a vegan, don't beat up a meat eater. All right, done with that. Now, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most potent and I'd like to say uh, very healthy uh, morning tonics. It's one of my rituals that I do maybe three, four times a week. But there's this tonic that I make in the morning that I use to uh, to help, you know, clear the toxins out of the body. It helps to get excess mucus out of your chest or whatever that builds up overnight. And, um, and it, it tastes great too, by the way, it, it, it happens to taste great and you get a lot of minerals in and you get some vitamin C and you know, you're getting a, a good cleansing. Simple tonic, as you can see here, I've got a glass of water. It's not quite full. I don't know where this is or how it's gonna show up on the video because I'm not, uh, I'm not looking at the screen, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we got some, um, we have some, uh, what do you call it here? Uh, some water. If room temperature is best, don't go, don't do cold water. You don't want it hot either. You want it about you know warm or room temperature, or whatever. And this is uh, this is filtered purified water. It didn't come from the tap or anything like that. Or I don't know. Some people say purified water comes from a tap somewhere. But anyway, <laughs> enough about that. So you you, you start with uh, now this is going to end up being a 16 ounce glass of water. It's a 16 ounce glass. I don't have 16 ounces in it, of course, because you're going to see why once I start mixing this up. But uh, if you guys want a name for this, just call it Author Matt D. Talford's Morning Tonic. You can call it that. Um, okay, so we got some, some uh, water here. We got some olive oil, extra virgin. We got some uh, uh, lemons. And we've got uh, some apple cider vinegar. A knife. Oh, one, other, one other thing I need to grab here. You're gonna need a spoon to stir, okay? and a tablespoon, a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. This is a powerful tonic here, okay? So we got Sole. Uh, Sole is pretty much um, salt water. It's uh, salt water made from um, uh, the, the pink uh, pink Himalayan sea salt crystals. And uh, for those of you that wanna know how to make it, um, there's this great, this beautiful girl that I learned how to make it from. Um, and I'll put a link to her video in the, uh, in the description box below. Um, anyway, and you guys should check out her channel. She's all about healthy living and healthy eating and that kind of stuff. So I think she was on a keto trip for a while. I don't watch her, a lot of her videos, but this was the money, how to make this sole. So we got sole here. We're going to start with that. And again, sole is just salt water made from, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt crystals. You take, uh, some, uh, spring water ideally, but if you can't get spring, you get, purified water, whatever, and you put it in a big mason jar, and um, then you put the crystals down in there, and you wait for them to dissolve, and then you just keep, well, you know what, she'll show you how to make it, but anyway, that's this is, I'm not gonna get into that. So I take a table, tablespoon of that, and I dump it into my water. Okay, that's done. Um, I'm gonna put this plastic back on here, and uh, only because this little plastic here area, some people might have something to say about that, I don't know if you're doing that. I mean, I've used plastic, I've used parchment paper, whatever. Uh, the key is just to make sure that that moisture doesn't rust your top of your mason jar, okay? So that's that. That's out of the way. The very next thing I do is I come in here and I grab my, uh, my lemon and uh, cut the lemon. I use about a half a lemon 
unless it's a small one, then I'll use the whole one. This one is about a medium sized lemon. So I take that lemon, I squeeze it and put it right into my uh, sole. Okay. And uh, let's see, I don't have my light guys. So if this video is dark, um, by the time it gets to this video, hopefully, by the time it gets to YouTube, hopefully I will have lightened it up a little bit or I'll just reshoot it. Um, okay, so I got half of my lemon in there. Just basically I cut it into a wedge and let's get that out of the way. Let's toss these. Okay, and the very next thing I do, is I get my uh, raw, unfiltered, apple cider vinegar, organic, organic. I like the organic apple cider vinegar. Go for the apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. You want the one that has the mother, all right? One tablespoon of that, okay? One tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. And then we're gonna go in here with a tablespoon of the olive oil. Or two tablespoons if you like, if you want a little more oily. But uh, one tablespoon will get it done. All right? Drop that in there. And that's it. That's all there is to it, really. Sole, a tablespoon of sole, a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, half a lemon, and uh, a tablespoon of olive oil. That's it. You take it, you stir it up, and I'm going to go and uh, put a little bit more water into here just to fill the glass on up, and then I turn it up. That's it. So uh, take that, and now what I typically do after that, it, again, it tastes great. Um, some people like to sip it, but my wife will sip it. You know, I don't know. She, I, I, I hope she's not watching this. <laughs> I tell her she plays with this stuff. Look, just turn it off. Just drink it, all right? Me, I, 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 I'll shotgun it. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll just drink it straight down. And then I'll wait about, you know, some people might buy to drink half the glass and then another half the glass, whatever. It is not bitter. It's very tasty. It, it really is. Um, and then, you know, after that, I'll wait like maybe 15, 20 minutes and I'll follow this with a full regular glass of water. And then that's a good quick way to cheat and get 32 ounces of water first thing in the morning. So you're halfway to a half a gallon already. And you know, some people vary, some people talk about how much water you should drink and you know, your, your body weight in ounces or whatever. And you know, that's my dog shaking in the background if you heard that, um, he, he always likes to be in the videos or whatever. So he wants you to know he's there. But anyway, um, some people talk about how much water you should drink. I'm thinking if you get at least a liter in you in the morning, if you're in the UK, a liter, or a quart if you're in the US, um, two 16 ounce glasses, you get that in before you leave the house, you're already on your way. If you only manage to get a half gallon of water in you, 64 ounces, by the end of the day, you're still up on some people. It's amazing how, uh, how little water a lot of us drink and then we wonder why we have some of the issues we have. I talked about that in another one of my videos. Stagnant water is diseased water. Water that's flowing is clean. It's clean water. It also cleans whatever it's touching. So uh, keep that water flowing, people. It is so important nowadays with everything that's going on out here. You walk out of your house, you're breathing in toxins. You come inside. Yeah, if you got animals, you need... Oh, that's another thing that is so important, people. As you're coming into this season where you have these different allergens and different things that will play with your mind because of what's going on out here with this... I don't want to say these letters, two letters and two numbers. Okay, or five letters and two numbers. Charlie, Oscar, Victor, India, Delta. Okay, if you're military, all right? 19, all right? So anyway, um, with the with what's going on with this stuff out here, it can really play with your head if you get what would have just been a, a cold or you felt like you was coming down with a cold, felt like you were coming down with a cold from uh, 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 you know two, three, four years ago. Now the very same symptoms are playing with your head if you got it going on. So one of the best things you can do for yourself is to keep water flowing through your body, all right? Keep the water flowing. That keeps the mucus uh, con content in your body loose. You wanna keep that mucus loose. You don't want it backing up, building up, getting hard. Water keeps that down for you. This is a great tool because this is going to help you get that mucus out of your body uh, first thing in the morning. And the other thing I'll tell you, listen, people, some people are religious about it. Others, you, you don't even wanna look at their, uh, what, what you call event thingies or whatever. I forget what they call registers or whatever. HVAC registers, I, I don't remember what they're called. I'm not an HVAC specialist. But change those air filters on a regular basis, all right? If you got one that's rated for 90 days, you might wanna change it after 60 days, okay? Um, and some people, some people will tell you, hey, use the cheap air filters or whatever, they're just as good. I'm here to tell you they're not just as good, all right? Uh, I know some people say the the, the, the expensive ones make your uh, unit work harder. Well, darn it, work harder then, because I, I want my air clean, 
So make sure the air in your house is clean. How do you do that? You clean up on a regular, dust on a regular, vacuum sweep on a regular, and um, um, change those air filters. So I'm, I'm talking to you guys about things that will knock out the low hanging fruit. So that at least you have that assurance that, hey, you know what? If something, I feel like something simple is happening, it's not something worse, all right? You gotta be able to start delineating and drawing that line. And you do that by defending yourself. How do you defend yourself? You put the things in that are gonna help your body. And this morning, author Matt D. Telfer's Morning Tonic is gonna help you do that. So that's all for me today, uh, folks. I told you this was gonna be a different video. Um, guys, listen, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, if, you, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button and uh, check out all my videos. These aren't the type of videos I do on a normal basis, regular basis. You guys know I'm all about uh, the scripture. I started out, Maddie's rap was originally talking about, Maddie's rap, the show where we rap about things that guys rap about when we're hanging out. Well, guys don't always rap about, uh, you know, stuff like this, so I didn't even do the whole Maddie's rap spiel in the beginning. But, again, um, I normally, in the olden days, I used to talk about sports, movies, whatever, things that guys talked about. Lately, I've been up on scripture and a lot of Bible prophecy and just fighting back in a world that is gone mad. So anyway, and you fight fighting back uh, using spirit, energy, power, love, all of that. So I love you guys. Tell somebody you love them and mean it. Um, how do you mean it? You show it. And this is why I'm doing these videos. I'm doing these. I'm showing it hopefully to you guys by doing these videos and by the work I do. Thank you and have a wonderful day or evening, whatever time it is where you are. Peace.